What's going on, beautiful people? I just had my first ever conversation with Grok4, and honestly, there are some interesting takeaways from this that I would love to share. And I actually want to show you guys how I'm able to use Grok4 right now because I definitely do not have the Grok4, you know, $200 a month, $300 a month plan. So we're going to get into that. We're going to create an app in this video using the Abacus AI Deep Agent. And we're going to check out the interface, what all you can do here, and what it is best used for. So stay tuned to the end. This is going to be a jam packed one. So right here is the basic interface that pretty much everybody will have when they get on Abacus AI. And just for a little bit of background, Abacus AI was built to be a super assistant for enterprise and professionals. And this is a little bit different from the general public. So they have more features that really make it easy for businesses to interact with AI, get things done, build out workflows, and a ton of other things that we're going to get into. So as you see here, tons of platform capabilities you can host on this. You have RAG, of course, everything that you'll need. And they have chat LL teams which will be what we go over right now. And then Abacus AI Enterprise, which of course is gonna be, you know, much, much larger, more complex. So this is the first interface that you'll get to. And as you see down here, we have a few options. We can generate an image and generate some code, create a playground, a PowerPoint, and more things if you click this button over here. So doc gen, video gen, lip sync, text to speech, speech to speech, everything that pretty much any other platform can do. And the reason why is because Abacus is a rapper, but it is a well put together rapper, not necessarily the UI, meaning this dashboard. I actually don't like this dashboard, but it has tons of capabilities. So I actually had a conversation with Grok4 and I actually didn't even know that it had come out. It, I heard it pretty late and I was very surprised, honestly, because Grok 3 didn't come out too, too long ago and it was, it was cool. So the first thing that I asked Grok and I really wanted to test its ability to, to reason at this point. So I said, I want to, if I wanted to create an offer for graphic design or branding that no company would ever turn down, what would it be? And just right off the bat, how it began to talk, you know, really stood out to me. So if you if you look at this response, totally get where you're coming from. Branding isn't this. How about like it was it felt more humanized in many different ways. I even said, look at my website and give me improvement suggestions. And I and it said, yeah, I took a good look at your site. It's a good solid foundation with a clean vibe. And and it's like, where did it get its personality from? Because Grok 3, I would say, was more, you know, clean cut and dry, kind of. Like, you go to Grok 3 when you want the truth. But Grok 4 kind of seems like a, a humanized companion, if you will. And even how it's laying out paragraphs instead of doing so many bullet points it has bullet points but it also has paragraphs and so these are really tiny changes in these llms that you're going to notice but how i got to grok4 is up here so when you come on the actual abacus ai site it'll be on route llm which route llm basically will use the model that it thinks it should to get your task done if you go here, you can select any of them, literally any of them, any of them. And guess how much I pay? $15 a month. $15 a month will get you access to every single chatbot out there. And in turn, all of the capabilities that those chatbots have. So we have Gemini, O3 High, O4 Mini High, Deep Seek. And of course, we get down to Grok. And we have Grok 4. For $15 a month, people. So uh, definitely check out the link in the description to try out Abacus AI. But 
what I want to do is test out a few different things. And what I'm going to show you first is app LLM. So in our, in one of the, well, I actually filmed the video, but I didn't post it. We built out a app and it didn't really go too, too well. So we're going to build out another one and we're going to go a little bit simpler. And if you know the drill, we're going to be using Gemini to write the prompt for this. Give me a prompt for a random app to test out Abacus. All right. So Harmony Hub, well-being, deep agent, develop a deep agent for an app. Okay. No, not develop. See, this is what I mean. Gemini is just not that good. Gemini is not as good as people think. Not develop a deep agent. Give me a random app idea to test out an AI builder. Okay. Mood based recipe generator. Okay. So let's do this one. I'll go back to the deep agent. So we're going to click create app. It's probably open too. We're going to paste that in there. And we are going to a and up for me. Okay, cool. Let's see what it gives us. And if you guys did see, you can preview and it's actually hosted on its same and on its own server. So if I scroll up, you see all of this coding being done. It planned out the file structure. It's just that, you know, when I actually came down to viewing it, let me see. Yeah. So it's on its own server and it's abacus AI dot app. So that's their domain and then whatever you want to have up here will be there. Let's just, so this is the app that it created the first time well, web platform, if you will. And it, and it did okay. It, it did okay. It has features, but of course it's just not, you know, functional. And if I wanted that, I would have to build it out more, but you know, it does have a lot of features. So if you go over here, you see the login page, but let's see. So I love to create a, I need to clarify a few things. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Just do it. All right. So Abacus AI has completed our first app. And right here, you see that we can actually deploy it. We can see the files. So you can download these and export them, whatever you want to do with them, put them on github and start working with this in a different ide whatever you want to do but it went through its whole process it went through it in phases so it planned it out and got everything ready preview and if we want to deploy we can but let's let's explore it a little bit okay mood feast cook with your emotions i'm feeling drowsy i'm feeling drowsy happy mood was well, happy but so for the happy people, festive mood lifting cranberry orange scones, it would be cool if it generated like three different images. Oh, wow. Wow. So it does bring an image in from somewhere. Let's take out drowsy. Oh, OK. No, no, no. It doesn't. It doesn't actually take an image in. But we see that it has come up with a bunch of different recipes. I wish that honestly it did it on just this page where, you know, you put I'm feeling sad and you find recipes for that. I mean, this is cool. This can work, but I would want this to be more user friendly whenever someone is looking for a recipe. But, you know, you click into the recipe, you see the whole entire thing. But what I would do, honestly, is kind of have it more interactive to where we're actually going through the ingredients together. Like it has a voice agent that will walk you through it and talk you through it. And you know, the whole entire time. So I can definitely think of some improvements, but as a first actual iteration, I think this is pretty cool. And then, you know, you can add stuff to the favorites. So if I favorite this, it's added to the favorites. I go to favorites and I have my favorite recipes. So it's cool. It used 1000, 912 credits so that in in this plan i get a total of 24,000 and i've used 13,000 so that single app took about a thousand so i would say building out 
a complete app would take about 20,000 tokens. But this is one way that you can use Abacus AI. Of course, you can use it to just chat with all the different LLMs. Maybe you want to ask, you know, Gemini something and then you want to ask Llama something. I don't know why you would ever want to ask Llama anything, but another part of this is code LLM. So code LLM is their IDE where you can, you know, code things inside of code things with the power of pretty much every single LLM. And of course it has an assistant with it, kind of the same type of functions that you'll see from a regular IDE, but just powered with, you know, Abacus AI powers. So one thing that I do want to point out is projects. So when you create new projects, you are able to, you know, it's kind of like Gemini gems or well, not gems, but ChatGPT projects and things like that. So let's get it to make us a PowerPoint. Let's generate a PowerPoint. How to hike in wet terrain we're going to do a presentation on how to hike in wet terrain so it is going to use grok 4 for this and we see it you know grok 4 is a little bit slower than the other models i will say and so again eight slides is fine eight slides is fine it's going to search the web it's going to do its thing and i just think that you know the newer models are going to have different mindsets on what they're doing so while yes there are multimodal models that can view images or view videos and a better model would just be able to view more of that image or be able to de decipher it a little bit better and things like that so it's creating the powerpoint i'm satisfied now let's select a template. Okay, so we can do artsy, modern, let's do modern. And now it's going ahead and generating a presentation. All right, so it said preview, understanding wet terrain, essential gear, three layer system. This is actually really good. Prevention, hypothermia signs. Wow, this is really good. Okay, so let's see what presentation this, this gives us. So here's the finished presentation. Really cool. Um, let's go ahead and go into full screen and see what this looks like. All right, so wet terrain hiking. Um, wow. Okay, all the icons match. I'm pretty sure this was made in HTML. Nice colors. Okay. Yeah, honestly, this presentation looks like something that, you know, anybody can just come up with and uh, begin to utilize. So honestly, yeah. So like the spacing and stuff like this, that may be off a little bit. But for slides like this with just text and bullet points, it does it pretty well. So honestly, compared to Manus, I would say this is a better presentation. But Manus has, I would say, more visually appealing presentations and they they have more animations and you know but definitely try, try this out and let me know what you guys think